okay guys i hope you guys are all being blessed tonight i'm gonna get a quick check in and the message i keep hearing i've been getting for like a week okay it was a message that i gave like a month ago and it is some type of bugaboo bitch forgive me for my language that's around you and because of her status quota or um how she have made it to the top you know she's always been made to think that you know it's about her and then it's several uh i'm getting signs of virgo it could be and don't get me wrong because my i even have kids that are earth signs but you know this is just in someone's energy that's projecting their energy onto you that's ugly it could be a virgo a libra could be a water sign and these people or whatever they feel like because of their status quota or because of some type of abilities that they used before in the past when they were a lot younger like maybe in their early 20s or something of that nature or whatever they use whatever they use the same devil that you use is going to come back and abuse. But this person is like trying to put limitations on you. And what they fail to realize they can't. God is going to come back and it's going to burn them. And it's going to burn them bad. And like um, what I'm hearing is they have been getting away with this negative bad energy for a long time. And like having their way. And you know they're a bit bitter and you know, even though they're out of appearance and they show and they lose weight and they may show the public that they're doing this, they could have went and got a body or maybe they work out or maybe they got a job done on their boobs or their butt. And, you know, it's such an illusion. It's falsified. It's fictional. And um, what they they're doing on the outer surface like these people they could really still need healing they're trying to stop you they want you shunned but uh what i'm hearing is the shun that they thought that they wanted for you is going to be for them like god is pulling down these strong towers and they think that you're not aware of the negative energies and limitations that they want placed upon you but what it's going to do is the devil is going to, oh my God, that same devil that they use or whatever to try to bring you down or to try to make you feel you're limited or to try to keep you from getting subscribers or people support and so forth or whatever. Like it's going to be seen. It's going to be brought into the light. God is going to do something great and big in your life that's going to out it's going to overpower everything that's dark that they're trying to do. And I feel sorry for them. And they're going to be looking so ugly or whatever. Like whatever this is that God is cooking up inside of you is going to be major. And it's going to explode. And when it explodes, it's going to hurt some people's souls. It could be people that's in your, your own uh, community dynamic where you where you grew up at or a city that maybe you went to that you're not born in or whatever. It's jealous people that's been jealous of you all since they met you or whatever. They have always thought that you were it and, you know, and they always wanted, you know, to be ugly with you. And it's even people that could be in a community that you work with, could be on YouTube could be, you know, they're trying to make it feel, you know, seem like they feel that they're all high and mighty and that, you know, they are confident and all of that, but they're really not. They're a person that maybe their partner, they had so much trouble out of this partner, but they stick there and they stay with them because they felt low from the beginning, like with things that happened to them from their childhood and they never went and got healed from this stuff. They just kept using the outer surface, you know, things that they were doing to try to heal themselves. And they never got real, real healing. And it's going to come to a head and like, it's going to be awful, y'all. Like this person is going to be so depressed. No, 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 no. No, baby, go. Go back. Shut the door. Sorry. Sorry, guys. 
okay, this person is going to be where they want it. You shunned or you stopped or whatever. Like these are people that's on the internet that jumped and came and got a channel. They could uh, be artists. They could be musicians. They, they are people that are seen in a great big light. And they really are, they feel this tiny, like, oh my God, the uh, tiny, uh, the uh, measurement of low that this person feel is so, like, it even hurts my feelings. And like, I know of whom some of the people are. So, and they also have been taking some of your work, but they're so hateful and they're so jealous hearted and they want to be above everyone, but they do these things for the outer surface and they're never receiving healing for the inner surface and for their heart. And so they have to focus on a whole bunch of stuff and like trying to stop people and put limits and take things from other people to come up with things for their work and stuff as that nature, you know, um, these people are so sickening, y'all. Oh my God, they could be on the internet. They could be. They could even be people that that are models. They could be on the television. They could be. You know, they got to where they were. They got to where they are now by always stomping on people's heads and always. You know, they had to do some real bad stuff. They could have did magic. They could have uh, signed up with the Illuminati. They could have sold their souls or whatever. They could have did a lot of stuff or whatever. But this person, like, the reason why they feel even extra low, they could have been feeling low from their childhood because maybe this person had things wrong with them that they felt that was ugly. Five of uh, Clovers, yes. This person um, could have felt always... Uh, when they were younger, so the same thing that happened to them, they try to do it to others. They really make it seem like that they are this great big person in light and that they got confidence and they're so pretty and they're so fine and all this stuff. And it could be male or female. But the thing of it is, is not this could have been a person that felt rejected, abandoned or just felt that they were overall ugly when they were growing up. They went and did a lot of things to work on themselves. They compete with people silently. And that's the worst way to be. They are silent haters. They are silent thieves. Oh my God, y'all. And, uh, you know, this five of clovers, this was a person that was left outside in the cold. This person is also wanting you to be left out in the cold with no support. This could be a person that left you out in the cold, or again, I'm stating they want you to be left out in the cold. You may have kids that you have to raise, take care of. They don't have any care or concern about anyone but themselves. This could be a person that's very wealthy, that have money and all of this, and they're still empty. Like, it's so sad, and I feel bad for them because uh, the measurements of ugly that they have done to others, like it's eating at their soul right now and they're still choosing to not surrender or whatever. And it's eating at their souls. And so now, like maybe, you know, they may have had good giftings or good karma in the past when they were younger, but they kept refusing to see the light and kept refusing to, you know, when God kept reaching his hand out to them where it just kept making them bitter and bitter and bitter. Their partner could have been a great big cheater. They may think, you know, play to people like they're confident or they feel good about themselves. But truth is they don't because they couldn't understand why this person, when they got with their partner, could have been a person that didn't even have kids. And their partner made them feel so low, was always cheating and this knocked this person's confidence even more. This person, uh, the person they were with could have talked low, uh, you know, talked bad, talked ugly to this person and made them feel low at times or whatever. And that's why they stuck with them. Them and this person that left them out in the cold could be healing this situation right now. Ace of Cups and this person, you know, uh, stability. Or they could want to offer you stability or want to come towards you and work with you. Because the thing of it is, is, you know, deep down inside, God is telling them that you know what they're doing. And, you know, it's up to them to surrender to divine. This person could be a queen, but 
they're always competing with people at things or whatever. Uh, this person can see you single, lovable. They want to offer you some type of job. They look at you. They go, they, uh, they stalk your social media. They go look at your pictures and uh, this person compare themselves to you or whatever. Uh, they could want to work with you because they see you single and lovable and that you are on to your A game, that you are a hard worker and that you get what you want. This person could be saying, wow, or whatever. This person, uh, if it's a partner, they want they want a partnership with you. Uh, they feel like a di divine connection with you. They see you as their partner already. They love you. Or this person could have also seen, this could be two or three scenarios. This could also be uh, a person that left you out in the cold. Now they want to offer stability to to you because they see you lovable and single and that you're a lovable person and that you work well by yourself and that you're looking good and pretty and that you have confidence in yourself and that you do what you say you're going to do when it comes to yourself that uh, you will cut this part these people off and this person like look at you and be like where did this person come from? Like this person could look at you and tell that maybe you had a, a, a hard childhood life or whatever, where you were left out in the cold as a child, you and your mother or something of this nature. This person could want to offer you stability because they know that you're loving and single. Again, I state, but they look at you like, wow, this is unbelievable. But I love this person. This could be a soulmate or something of this nature. Ten of hearts. Whomever this is, you're going to have a divine partnership with this person. They want to offer their hearts. Oh, God. They want to offer their hearts to you. Their heart to you. They want to offer this cup of love. They look at you and they see you as lovable Wally, but they look at you and they see you as, wow, you know, they're saying to themselves, wow, you know, I can't believe, you know, maybe I met my, my soulmate or the partner that I've always wanted. You and this person could have been, uh, uh, people that had the same childhood upbringing. What I'm getting to, this person could be well off, stable and you know, you'll have a wish fulfillment with them. Ten of hearts in love, your career, because they want to bring stability to this because they know that you and them, they know how it feel. They know how you feel because, you know, as a child, this person could have been left out in the cold from their, their parents and a grandparents or something could have raised them or whatever. Or this person could have been in foster care or, you know, or, you know, I'm getting two or three different situations. Someone could be, have always like, could have been in a connection with someone, a divine connection that they gave their heart to. They were young and single and loving this person and offered their love. And this, whoever their partner was, left them outside in the cold. This person could have left them outside within the cold with their first baby or something of that nature. Um, they could have other kids as well, but these people see this connection as a divine partnership. What's going on with this uh, five of clovers? What's going on with this five of clovers? What's going on with this five of clovers? Uh, this could be a king, a person that's already in leadership, or they want an authority, authoritative position. Uh, they are passionate about coming towards you. They are in leadership. They are standing back, you know, trying to contemplate on how they can move forward towards you. This person, a lot of people could look up to this person. Uh, this person could be a passionate person uh, in sex, in their job, uh, at everything that they do. And they uh, acknowledge uh, whatever uh, both walks of life like you know from the streets to the books or whatever what's up with this ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles 
this Ace of Pentacles, someone, a Page of Cups could be quite young, a friendship that you have that could be, may have started like 10 months ago, 10, 11, 12, a year ago, uh, 15 months ago, nine months ago. This person want to offer their love. Yeah, they want to offer stability, but this could be brand new. This person could still be working on their spirituality. This connection is quite young, a page of cups, or it could be some type of water sign, ace of cups as well. This person see is sad, five of cups, or feel that you are sad because you are a person that could have been always being left in the cold and no one supporting you or something of this nature. This person could be standing back watching like a group setting or people leaving you out in the cold and they feel that you're sad about it. Knight of Pentacles, they feel that you don't trust anyone or they could be this person as well. Don't trust anyone because uh, they lost trust, you know, a long time ago when they were younger, but they see you as their friend. They lost trust because they were left out in the cold as a child or whatever page of ones this could be a new idea or something that this person already work at doing that could be have a career in doing this already and that you are starting out new page of ones that you're passionate about your ideas or this person could be passionate about the things that you're doing could be similar to the job that they work on queen of ones they see you as being comfortable in your pinnacles that you are going to manifest and you are working on your pinnacles. You be, you could be a lovable person that love pets or nurturing others or whatever while you work or that you are a nurturer, hierophant, angel of blessings. This person can see you as the book of knowledge that you have a lot of blessings or good graces on the inside of you spiritually that you know a lot of wisdom and knowledge. This person can see you as you have the key to their heart. What is this nine of hearts? Uh, I see earth signs out here, water signs. Uh, earth signs, water signs, and fire signs out here. An uh, air sign could be here as well, one to offer, come forward and offer something to some uh, indifference. Uh, in your love life, they feel that you're single, you're single and you're lovable or whatever, but it's been indifference, four of cups in your love life in the past, or you could have been had it difficult for 10 years or 19 years or 12 a year or someone could have uh, burned you in love like you were always getting burned on or walked on or over giving in love and this could be a water sign and that you don't trust them so you went off to yourself and you're single and you're loving yourself working with yourself working with your home life working with your kids working with your career your uh, endeavors your uh your health, your strength, and your might, and your wit. Uh, page of Swords. Someone could be saying that you're wild and gossiping. Page of Swords about you, or they feel that you're gossiping with someone else and regarding them, and that you got a sword. You are looking at them like uh, this could be someone younger than you, or you are looking at them like, you know, you started something young and new with them and they could have gossiped and talked behind your back. And now they feel that you're doing the same thing to them. And they feel that you're, wow, the Empress. Okay, the Empress fell under the two of hearts, the partnership, the soulmate, the past life partner. Someone could be gossiping around in your community, knowing that you're going to get the love that you desire because, you know, you got good karma coming towards you. These people could be talking down on you or talking about you. This could be an air sign or whatever that's doing this, that's sitting back secretly trying to take your place or space or something. What if this 10 of hearts, 
They see you as an empress. They see you as abundant. They see you as spiritually abundant. They know that you walk with the light, that the light is on you. The light is in you. The light is with you and that you can manifest a lot of good things. The empress or whatever. Um, endings. Oh, ten of swords. You could be ending uh, showing people love because they have, yeah, and the tower is going to come because somebody could have took your kindness for re weakness. This could be a group setting. This could be people that thought that you didn't know what they were doing and was trying to make it indifferent for you. And now you don't trust. The lovers did pop up here or whatever, but what's a judgment call is going to come with the tower and the eight of pentacles and due to you working really hard and, you know, trying to compromise with people and they been dedicated in <clears throat> some type of work situation that someone wanted to control because they are narcissistic and didn't want you to move forward. It's going to be a judgment call and a tower due to all of the work that you have given out and people have made money off of it or whatever. And uh, they're going to get that karma back to them in the back seven that that back seven ten of swords is ending. And they're going to get that your empress is going to show up as well or someone could be around in your dynamic or in your community. Uh, in your uh, energy space or around you at some type of job that's going to show up and help you or whatever. Six of Swords. You're going to come up with a resolution. Queen of Cups. You're feeling quite sensitive. You're filling up your own cup. You're trying to come up with a resolution how to deal with these people and what to do or whatever because they have taken from you and you are filling up your own cup and you know you, you don't want to just be ugly, but it's due to your creativity or whatever. Uh, whoa, your creativity. Oh, someone could have their, they're going to quit. Queen of Wands quit giving their creativity. The creativity is in reverse. Like someone's going to be done with it. Done with the Ten of Swords. The endings with backstabbings, all of that. And a justice is going to come. And regarding this, again, the nine of pentacles or whatever, and you're going to still be comfortable and take action and have a victory. And you're going to put a death to anyone that was karmic or in around you in your community. You're not going to have to do it because a judgment call and the tower is going to come. Someone's going to get a lot of their money or get things snatched from them that they thought could never get snatched from them. What is going on? You're going to take action in regarding to your passion or whatever. You're going to have a victory in it. You're going to put a death. You're undergoing a transformation. You're going to put a death to people that was trying to backstab you and stop you. Knight of Cups spirituality. Uh, these people need to focus on their spirituality more or whatever uh, and manifest. Try to manifest on their own instead of taking your creativity. You're not going to allow them to do it anymore. You're going to take action for yourself. What's going on with this Queen of Wands in reverse? This Queen of Wands in reverse. Could you tell me? Oh, magician. Like someone's going to be trying to or was trying to manifest your creativity, but they're not going to be able to. They were trying to manifest and take your tools that you have. Uh, uh, spiritually or whatever and use it for themselves and it's not going to happen it's going to be a death put to it judgment call is going to come some people is going to get their karma of whatever they did to you whatever limits they tried to put on you a victory is here twice and you're going to have choices and work that you want to do and this person may be stopped and lord knows of what may happen to them or happen, you know, in regarding to stop them because they tried to stop you. It's going to be sad. So what else is going on here? Oh, six of pentacles. These people could have 
all had their hand out and was while you was hard at work, they were taking your manifestations and your pinnacles or whatever. Um, what's going to happen with this creativity? Queen of Cups. Someone is empty. Someone's going to be even more empty. They're not going to even be able to fill themselves up because they took from you. They are empty people that's not going to be filled up. Like they're not going to have anything spiritually to work with or to manifest or use. Like they're going to be left high and dry and empty in regarding this situation because they did it to you. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop there. Oh, because a king of swords, someone's going to sitting on the throne, throne is speaking their truth and they're going to tell them that it was wrong. And this person is going to be left sad and empty and not going to be able to manifest anything. They're not going to even be able to steal off of you because you're not going to give anything for them to take anymore. You're going to uh, create and manifest on your own and they're going to be left empty and where they try to stop you, it's not going to happen. Like They're going to be sad and upset because you were able to move forward, but that tower, that judgment is going to come and it's going to slap something on them. That's going to bring them back into reality where they're not going to be able to focus on their work, your work, no one's work or whatever. Like it's something that's going to like hit them and they're going to be wishing that they would have like just stayed in their lane and not try to stop you with whatever you were doing. They want to try to put limits on you and stop you from growing and it's going to all come back on them and they're going to be left empty and like without anything. And they're not going to be able to say or do anything. Let me get a spiritual message and then I have to go. Not a spiritual message. Okay. Uh, Teresa of Avelia. Avila. Our Lady of the Interior Life, I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Oh, wow. Like, that's what people hate so much. Look, that lit up bird or dove or whatever that's, that comes to visit you and you have a spark within you that's just naturally love and a lot of these empty people are going to be let their empty vessels and they have did all this work on the out appearance and they're going to be left empty. They're never going to be able to manifest because they have did this for a long time to other people. And it's going to be sad. Like they thought that their voodoo or Illuminati or stuff could help them, but it's going to hit them and hit them hard and they're not going to have no help. They're not going to be able to manifest anything. I'm sorry. But if you guys don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless.